Hello friends, it's Techman Pat here and in the last few days Telstra announced that they will accelerate the 6,000 job cuts and junk over $500 million worth of old IT services and hardware. And as expected, Telstra CEO Andy Penn partially linked the cuts to the National Broadband Network project. The telco said it made the decision as a result of good progress on the Telstra 2022, which will see up to 9,500 jobs slashed over three years as part of its efforts to plug a three billion earnings hole left in the wake of the NBN's construction. And look, from a business standpoint, it makes sense. Telstra is no longer the maintainer, provider, and reseller of that service. NBN Co. has taken over the maintenance and Telstra is left to be a reseller. They do not need that many people, especially if they're only doing one third of what they used to do. This announcement brings the cuts to happen by the end of the financial year, this year, six months earlier than outlined in previous guidances. So on Wednesday, they issued a fresh guidance on restructuring costs related to its Telstra 2022 simplification project and downsizing strategy, bringing forward a whopping 700 million into the 2019 financial year. The costs break down into 200 million for labor shedding, essentially redundancies and separation payouts, coupled with 500 million in write-offs for junked legacy systems and related hardware that have been replaced by more modern technology. The company has reaffirmed its earnings guidance for between 8.7 billion to 9.4 billion and full year income is forecasted to notch 26.2 billion and 28.1 billion. Somewhere in the middle, I mean, it's a pretty rough estimate, right? In the billions. The software and hardware junking relates to legacy HR systems, local servers that host their potentially ERPs, CRMs, and other systems that are all in the cloud now. Many of these systems had multi-year deals with investments that were huge and ongoing fees that were even bigger. Again, as a business, it's a pretty good cut to make. With all this in mind, many Telstra employees are getting their payouts early because basically they want to beat the rush at the end and I suppose hoping for to receive a bigger payout. Interestingly, this cost shedding announcement has neatly coincided with the swearing in of the Morrison government's cabinet with former Optus executive Paul Fletcher, officially becoming communications minister. I'm sure there are no hard feelings there at all. Now Optus has a leg up as they won't need to shed divisions. So we could see a big change in the big telco players, especially now with the TPG Vodafone merger not going ahead at this stage anyway. And CEO Andy Penn is also pushing the message that Telstra is trying to let go a very large number of people with as much respect, compassion and dignity as possible. And you take from that what you wish. Look, job cuts are never a good thing and I remember a few years back the NBN was going to bring more jobs. Deloitte had estimated, and I think the estimate still stands, that during the peak of NBN construction, there would be 18,000 new construction jobs and 13,000 will stay on as ongoing rollout work continues. Obviously, the job cuts from Telstra are, are not all construction based, but many field staff members with experience will need to transition potentially to the NBN. Let's hope that happens. So what do you think? Is Penn right? Is the NBN to blame or is an old network that became bloat to blame? Or is it just money and shareholders? Are they just trying to make them happy? And at the end of the day, is it just a business decision? Let me know what you think in the comments below, friends. I'll catch you guys in another video and I'll chat to you guys below. Thanks guys, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in another one. Bye.